Hello everyone, welcome back to another Star Stable reaction video. Hey you, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Star Stable videos. If you guys have been living under a rock, then maybe you don't know, but the Percheron horse is actually coming out today. For me it is Wednesday, I think it's still Tuesday in a lot of parts of the world. Australians are time travellers, but I'm pretty excited for these horses. Ironically, I'm actually on the Finn horse right now, which I think is a draft horse, and is the last draft horse that we uh, got, and maybe the Finn horses and Percherons are kind of related, I'm not too sure, but in the photos I've seen so far, they do look kind of similar. I am actually recording this intro again because my computer died and the footage was not saved, which is unfortunate, but basically today at 1am for me, the trailer for the Percheron horse was released. I was not awake then, just saying, and I was not going to record at 1am. But uh, yeah, which is why I'm doing it as soon as I wake up. So in the next few clips, my voice might sound more like I just woke up than I am now because I've been speaking for at least like half an hour. Yes, so uh, let's just get into the reaction. There's also a picture that I want to check out on their Instagram as well. Here we have Star Staples Instagram. I haven't seen this before. Um, Swedish Summers. We are going to check out the Percheron, the first picture that we got from Star Staple of the Percheron. And I think it's more of like a size comparison, Gotland Pony versus Percheron. So I think they're tall. I really wish that maybe we got some more size comparison. Maybe we'll get some more in the trailer. But I really wish maybe we got the Percheron next to like uh, the Clydesdale or something so we could see if these horses were actually tall or uh, whether they were just a normal horse standing next to a pony. I don't know because I feel like the perspective in this photo is a little bit off. So we'll have to check that out in the game. Oh yeah, Star Sable also has a new logo color for the summer which is going to take some getting used to you guys. But yeah, this is the first look of the Percheron location for Pinter and Marley's Farm. I think they're going to be mainly at Marley's Farm, but of course there's always one Percheron, one horse, which is going to be at Fort Pinter, and they are 850 star coins. Now we've got this over here, which is Swedish Summers vs. Jorvik Summers. Swedish Summers vs. Jorvik Summers. Fun fact for those who don't know, our HQ is located in Stockholm, Sweden. So this is pretty much a very accurate representation of our Swedish Summers. We're all wishing we could spend summer in Jorvik. Probably the number one reason why Jorvik is a very touristic island all year round. How are summers in your country? Sorry about that you guys, my computer just black and green screened which means I have to update my graphics drivers. But back to this, Jorvik Summers, uh, well down here, I don't understand this map, I think it's on its side, but that's pretty cold. Not cold cold, but it's cool for a summer. Over here is probably as close to Australia summers as you can get. I mean, there's some places, Australia is so big that it really massively differs where you are. Obviously, this up top Darwin area, it's like 40 degrees average. And then in winters, they're still chilling at like 25 to 30 degrees, I guess. But then down the bottom of Australia, you might only get, you know, like 20 degrees. I don't know. What, what does this mean? Oh, is this Sweden? Oh no. Oh, that's Sweden. And this is Jorvik. Ah, oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> okay, you guys, I just woke up. Oh, it says right up there. I just, okay. It's okay. 25 degrees. That is pretty cool for an Australian summer where I am, I'm going to say. That is not cold, but that is definitely the minimum for a summer temperature. Anyways, that was a little distraction. Over here on Star Staples YouTube page, we can see Meet the Percherons seven hours ago, 1 a.m. for me. Oh, I'm so excited. We can already see a dark dapple. I don't know the technical names and a light dappled horse. And I can see a fun little braid in their hair. Oh gosh, I... Oh, little sneak peek you guys. I kind of want to read the caption first like I usually do. Francis beloved gentle giant the Percheron has a history as rich and storied as the lands from which it rose to fame. Named for the old love Perch. Perk. 
um, per see I've done Italian and I would read that as la perche so that's making me think it's the percheron let me google this for a second percheron that's the British one percheron percheron basically what I said percheron oh no the American is the percheron 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 is British how do you say it the French way pronounce names dot com Percheron 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 okay um let me know what I should say in the comments below anyways the Percheron <laughs> Ah, that degree can be traced back to the Middle Ages when Mighty Grey. What is that word? Pes Destria war horses carried armored knights into battle. As mounted warfare faded into history, the per the Pescheron uh, found a new purpose as a carriage and workhorse. For a time, the breed enjoyed global fame as the ideal draft horse, becoming one of the most important and beloved horses in America. I love that little history lesson, it's so fun. When looking upon a Pescheron, pe how do I say it again? I don't know you guys you can't help but admire the powerful and sculpted body with its muscular legs muscular legs thick neck nice thick neck and straight profiled head the pecheron almost looks as if it is chiseled from marble and yet the breed is nimble and capable of great endurance not just strength thanks to the introduction of arabians and warm blood stock into the bloodline in their native france only gray and black codes are allowed in the pecheron Pressure. I, I can't registry, but in America and Jorvik, all colors are welcome. Today, Pescherons are one of the most versatile draft horses in the world. You'll find them driving wagons and sleighs, working in forestry, or even competing in show jumping. They are fam famously agreeable in temperament. The Pescheron is especially loved by the Jorvik Rangers, who taught the breed its signature moose walk for traversing a marshy terrain so this one does have a special move question mark uh through centuries of re in reinvention one time has one thing sorry has never changed the pressure rod is a stale water companion who won't let you down you can find them at Marley's farm one Pecheron variation will be available for a printer for a limited time before joining the others in Silverglade. 850 star coins. Level 7, the variation in Fort Pinter will be available from level 1. Which colours can I choose from? Okay, dapple grey, white grey, black, dark dapple grey. Did I get that right? The dark dapple grey. Oh my gosh, yes, flax and chestnut. I love flax and chestnut horses. And bay. Is there anything else I should know? The Pecheron has two main styles available a long mane and braided loops if you ask the pressure on nicely it will perform its signature moose walk the yorvik rangers taught them yep 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 to get going make sure your patron is moving in at a walk and then hold shift i'm excited to see the moose walk so therefore i think the price is reasonable 850 you're getting a special walk and uh two main styles so i'm rather happy with the price of these horses but let's check out the animations Oh my gosh. Honestly, ooh. Oh, the music is so good, but it's very loud. I'm going to have to turn it down. Ooh. I'm liking these horses so far. They do give me Finn horses vibes, which I guess is because draft horses. These horses kind of give me Gotland pony vibes. <laughs> Why does that literally remind me of the Gotland pony coat on a Pusheron? Oh, look at the loops on that horse. I'm so excited to check out the loops, but I also really like the long mane as well. Oh, that horse is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, is that the swamp walk? The swamp walk? No, the moose walk. This horse is gorgeous as well. It does remind me of the Gotland pony one though. Um, that was a nice jump. I also like the dark dapple, and of course I like the black. I don't think I've seen a coat that I don't like. 
Um, I might not be a big fan of the white, but I have to wait to see it in the- <gasps> Oh! That's so precious! That's so precious! Oh! Oh, that's so cute! Okay, let's- Did I click on that? Let's talk about this now. As usual, with the trailer, I can't see all the detail on these horses. If I look really closely at this white horse, I think I can see some detail in the fur, which I think is really good. I don't like horses which literally look like plastic, so I'm excited to check them out in the game because I think you can see so much more little details in the game because it's higher quality, it's like through your own eyes into the game, things like that. So I definitely recommend checking them out in the game, but also maybe watching other people's videos on them just to see animations and things like that. But speaking of animations, I want to look at this around. Oh my gosh, the horse, is, the horse is actually drinking water out of the bucket. It's not like 500 years away. Years, like 500 meters away. It's literally like at the bucket. That's awesome. I want to... Honestly, I'm not seeing anything amazing about the animations. Nothing that I've loved, but nothing that I've hated. Uh, I'm definitely excited to check them out in the game though because uh, especially since I've spoken about this before but Star Stable videos only go up to 1080p for me but the screen that I watch it on is actually a 4k screen so I'm seeing it very pixelated because 4k is four times the resolution of 1080p so it just kind of ruins the experience a little bit because I definitely cannot see any texture uh, but it's alright, it's alright, but, uh, yeah, the animations, nothing too, I do like the look of the trot, that's cute, but I don't think that's an actual animation, that's just, like, the horses looking around. Oh, I do like, what's it called, the moose walk, I'm definitely gonna accidentally call it the swoop, swoop, the swamp walk, so don't mind that. Honestly, I really like the canter as well. I feel like it definitely is giving off the graceful yet stock horse vibe, draft horse vibe. Um, let's see that jump again. Uh, I do like the jump. I feel like it's a little bit like yeety at first. <laughs> Does that make sense? But it like yeets and then it goes over. But I do like it. It's not bad. Do not get me wrong. It is still cute. I want to go back and watch this one first. I love the dapples on this one. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to see the texture because I feel like hopefully Star Steeple's done some good fur te texture in there. Oh, I love the mane and how it's got like a little curl on this side. Love that. So cute. This horse here, definitely on my to buy. Honestly, I didn't see a horse today that I didn't want to buy, which is hard because now I don't know. Should I buy all of the Pacherons, or should I buy a few and buy some more later? Let me know in the comments below because I'm seriously stuck because I want to buy them all. From looking at them right now, I want to buy them all. The only thing I have with the white one is I think I might want to look at the white one in the game to see how much fur detail you can see because on the white horses, if I can't see like a good fur detail, it makes me not really want to buy them because they look a little bit plasticky. Like with the Arabian, I do, I did end up really like liking the Arabian, the white one, but it is probably my least favorite out of the batch. Um, I'm just very specific with my white horses, I think. Um, I find it hard to find a good white horse. I like the white Arabian, which is uh, the white Andalusian, which is kind of strange because the white Andalusian is a little bit plasticky, but I think it works with the horse breed, I guess. I don't know. It's hard to explain. We'll check it out in the game. I do like uh, the rear. But I totally understand why it just kind of like falls to the ground like that. But sometimes it just feels a little bit weird to me. But um, yeah, I'm liking the uh, posture of the horse whilst it's doing that. I like the little steps back. Uh, at least it doesn't like step sideways like the Frisian, which is totally fine. I've gotten used to that on the Frisian. It's just not my favorite rear in the game, which is totally fine. I think I like this one, but I'd have like the gallop. But I have to once again check it out in the game because... Yeah, no, it's fine. He's probably saying, can you put water in the bath for me? <laughs> Sorry about that, you guys, but I can't actually remember what I'm saying. So I think that's just the end of this video. 
overall, I don't have anything negative to say right now. I'm enjoying what I'm looking at right now. I do kind of enjoy this feathering, I guess, around the hooves. I think that's actually really good and I'm excited to see the detail in the game later today. So yeah let me know what you guys think of these horses in the comments below obviously if you're not into draft horses these horses might not be your favorite and that's okay that's one of the reasons i feel that star Saber releases horses every few months or every month sometimes as a new horse and it's because draft horses might not be your thing but maybe a pony next month is your thing you know Anyways, if you guys did enjoy, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing because those are free ways of supporting me. But I hope you guys are having an awesome day or have had an awesome day and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye!